Hi everyone, this is Stephanie Thomas of the Sales Tax Sisters and Thomas Thomas and Thomas PC. We are going to talk about responding to the taxing authority when they send you a letter. Cue the music. everyone thanks for clicking on the video and hopefully you are subscribed already so you get all of this sales and use tax goodness coming your way today is going to be pretty short we're going to talk about responding to the taxing authorities when they contact you most of the time unless you are doing research or or you have questions about something most people are not calling the taxing authority just saying. But sometimes the taxing authority will call you or send you a nice little letter letting you know that you are being audited or they looked at your uh, return and noticed there's a problem or they have a question or they think your local tax is not correct. For whatever reason, they need to hear from you. And if, with all of these scenarios, one thing is very, very important as it relates to you. Do not, I repeat, do not freak out. It is easy to do because to be honest, when I get any kind of notice from the IRS or something like that, or the, the workforce commission, I'm like, oh God, please, please, I let this be something simple. I do not want to hear from these people. And most of the time it's something simple. And in the case of the taxing authority, there's no point in you freaking out because whether it's simple or it's complicated, it's going to do what it does. What I suggest that you do is once you receive notification from them, do not procrastinate. Do not stick your head in the sand thinking it's going to go away because surprise, surprise, it never does. Be proactive, contact them and find out exactly what they want. If it's a notice of routine audit, contact them, fill out the questionnaire and figure out what you want to do. If you feel comfortable handling the audit on your own, if you want outside consultants to help you, you have to make that decision and make it in a timely manner. Just know that hiding your head in the sand will not make it easier for you. In fact, it will make it even more stressful because there are deadlines here. So you don't want to start thinking about it when your deadline is two, we two weeks away. Okay, so that is our tax tip for the week. If you liked it, please thumb us up, share the video. If you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button. And um, we also have goodies about following us in the description box below. We love questions and comments. We really appreciate the feedback that we're getting from everyone. And thank you so much for finding us. Have a great day. And um, also sign up for the newsletter. You get lots of nice things in the newsletter. We like doing the newsletter. Sign up. Have a good day, everyone, and we'll see you next time.